Hello everybody, this is Domino 7 here. I'd like to welcome y'all to the Domino 7 show, live location at my crib, okay? Alright, I want to tell y'all today, today is my grandmother's birthday, okay? So, uh, she, she, she's no longer here with us though, okay? As y'all as y'all know, if y'all seen my, my, my past episode though, okay? So anyway... I, I would like to say I miss my grandmother so much. I mean, I'd probably be at her house right now if she was here, okay? So, unfortunately, I can't go over there because she's she not living in that house anymore. And not only that, uh, she's in heaven right now, having ha having a time of her eternal life, okay? So, I mean, I, I want to let y'all know, uh, my cousins Ricky and Reginald miss her, my cousin Monica miss her. You know, her sisters, my mom, her, all her children, you know. So, anyway, I want to tell y'all, my, my mom was so devastated, though, losing her mama. Talking about she have nobody, you know, at least she have us, though, okay. So, my grandmother, you're going to be truly missed, okay. I miss your red beans, your gumbo, spaghetti, you name it, okay. Cook some, some, some good food. Never, never used to throw, throw her food away, you know, I mean, and plus, I never shared the, the, the beans with, 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 with my, with my mom and, and my brothers, well, my big brother loved her, her red beans, you know, I mean, I know he gonna, I know he gonna miss her beans, he, he haven't had her beans and God knows when, you know, alright, so, what, what I'm gonna do today, I'm going to show y'all that same video that y'all watched uh, 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 last month, okay? That same video that y'all that y'all uh, uh, that y'all saw last month, and y'all gonna see some pictures too. Y'all gonna see some pictures, but 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 the thing is, I wish I could have uh, 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 had that picture with with her and her sisters and her mom though, you know, because uh, uh, that would have been good, okay? So, so what, what, what y'all gonna do, y'all gonna watch that, that video with my grandmother talking about us being in Hurricane Katrina. And after that video, y'all gonna see some pictures, okay? So, so here we go. Y'all gonna see this video, okay? I hope y'all gonna enjoy it one more time, okay? So check this out and enjoy it. Angels in heaven. Has smiled down on me. Oh, I feel so blessed today. No one but God could have sent you this way. Oh, I feel so blessed today. No one but God could have sent you this way. I once believed only a fool would fall in love. Well, if that's true, then I'm that fool I was thinking of. I'm so glad that feeling came over me. Now I'm standing here beside you where I always want to be. Oh. My name is Dolores White. I'm a Christian person. My church home is Asia Baptist Church. I would like to say a prayer for this video. A prayer that I really, really love. It's a wonderful prayer. So it's for any denomination. It's for any. Oh Lord, our help and ages past, our hope for years to come, our shelter from the stormy blast, and our eternal home. Beneath the shadows of thy throne, thy saints have well secured. Sufficient is thy arm alone, and our defense is assured. Most holy and everlasting, thou art God, we come, heavenly master, in the most humblest way we know how to come. 
we come thanking you for the many, many blessings thou hast bestowed upon us from early existence until this present moment. We thank you, Father, for each and every one under the sound of my weak voice. We ask that you bless, protect, and keep everyone, especially my children, my grandchildren, and my great-grandchildren. Father, lead them in the way that you want them to go. All of those that don't know you in the pardon of their sins, let them come running and asking, what could I do to be saved? I thank you, Heavenly Master. I thank you for a portion of my health and strength that I could just uh, be a, a person that can just go to, I love my church, can go to church and just be a, just a, a Christian person. I, I, I'm just so happy. I'm real happy. I've been very, very sick, but God has blessed me now, and I'm doing real well. So this is my prayer. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. And Father, please bless the boys and girls that's fighting overseas. Bring them home to their families. Make their families' homes a home of prayer, peace, love, and understanding. And these blessings I ask in Jesus' name. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Thank you. So whenever you're ready. Just uh, a few that comes out. Just a few uh, weeks ago, the office called me and said, uh, Miss White, what are you doing? I said, I'm sitting down. He said, well, it's somebody real special is coming to see you. I said, who, was, who is that coming to see me? He said, I'm not going to tell you who, but it's somebody real special. And the, um, the uh, security, what? The, uh, security. The security. Secret service. The secret service have screened you and everything. They screened you, and you are ready for your special guest to come. Say, and, uh, uh, well, they're supposed to come uh, on their way back from vacation. They're going to stop, and they're going to come. So it was, it was so good. So I, I said, well, I call him back. His name Jason. I call him back. I said, Jason, who is coming? Because I want to know how to dress. He said, the only thing you have to do is put the clothes you had on uh, the other day when you came and talk on a video. I said, all right, talk about the stone and everything on the video. I said, well, all right. So he came, uh, got me and everything, and I talked on the video. But then uh, Rep, uh, Rep, President Obama was on his way, they was on his they way here. And the uh, a radical or whatever they call them, they got wind of it. And they all surround my house. They all got in the driveway and surround the house. And 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 uh, so when they got ready to come this way, they had the street so blocked off with the people in there. The police couldn't make a move or nothing. So they just went straight on San Bernard. They didn't come this way. They they they. The car was uh, pointed this way, someone told me I wasn't outside. And then they seen all of those people outside, around the house, so they just went around. But I was so grateful that he was gonna come and talk with me, he and his wife. So they went to a girl in the next driveway from me, 
was nobody there because nobody knew that it was coming. But me, I had to tell all my people and everything so it got out that he was coming. So that's what happened. And uh, he went by the girl, he and his wife, and talked talk to her. I named Baby. She in the next driveway. So uh, I was so grateful that, that he was going to come over here. They're looking at the apartments. They built these apartments from uh, the project. It, this, this whole vicinity, this whole, all around here was a project. And they built these houses. And I'm so grateful. And I just wanted him to come and see my little comfortable apartment. I'm so comfortable in here. We have security guards and everything. I can sleep all night long. I used to couldn't sleep at night on the kind of the shooting and everything, but they don't have none of that around here. So he was going to come and see our apartment and everything, but he didn't come and I was so upset at, well, I just didn't know uh, what to say. And, uh, but one another time when he's down here, he might come. Because I had made my 75, 75th his birthday just before he was going to come. And that was going to be the best birthday present. I just can't explain it. That was going to be so wonderful. Oh my God. You see, because we went through so much with Katrina. You see, the, the, um, the people was leaving and when the storm came. But I would not leave because they didn't have enough room for my children and my grandchildren and my great-grandchildren. So we all stayed together in my apartment. I had a two-bedroom project apartment and we all stayed in there. And it it was so horrific. Oh my God, the, the, the storm. We, we, we was all in, a, we heard the storm. We was inside. We heard the storm, the bricks coming off the house and everything. And we stayed. But after we stayed, and the storm finished. We all got out the out the house. The children even was quiet. I, the the babies was quiet. Nobody was saying nothing when the storm was going on, cause we never heard nothing like that before. And uh, I've been through a few storms in my day here, but never one like this one. And after the storm was finished, we went on the porch and start praying and thanking God for letting us come out of the storm all right. And the water, all at once the water start rising. When the water start rising, it, it I got to the steps. And we sitting on the porch, we didn't know. And all at once it started just coming up and I had the children, I said, each one of y'all, the, the little children, go get a broom and start sweeping it off the porch, the water off the porch. And that's what they was doing, sweeping it. As they sweep it, the more it come. So when it got in the hallway, we went inside, and when it got in the hallway, we said, uh, I told my children, I said, now, because my, my niece had left her key. She lived it on the third floor. I was on the first floor. And she left her key for us to go upstairs in her house. She was living on the third floor. And so after she left the key with us, we went on the third floor. But we didn't think that the water would, would get so high. And as we was going up, the water got so high that... that it started covering everything in the house. And so uh, we went upstairs and uh, we was looking and my church was right across the street from me. And I kept looking at my church to see how far the water was coming and it was just going up, up, up to the window of the church. 
And I say, oh my God. And so all at once it started getting late in the evening. All at once the, the helicopters started passing and the boats started coming. So my children got on the porch on the third floor and started hollering, help, save us, come get us. I said, children, don't, don't make commotion like that. They said, Grandma, we got to leave away from here. And so the boat came and Dinah and her kids, Janice and her kids, and uh, they left. Well, Christina and me, and her kids, we stayed because the boys, she had two boys, they are, uh, um, what you call it? Artistic. Uh, they are artistic. And they didn't want to go on the boat. So I said, well, I can't leave Christina and her boys. So we stayed. And so the water still was rising and the boat still was picking up people. And so I said, Christina, after a while, if it get any higher, we're going to have to leave. And so uh, it did get higher. And so we started hollering for the people to come and get us. But they had, they had came about three times, and I wouldn't go. So they just took their own good time. And they said, we'll be back, we'll be back. And they never came back. So it was a guy, he was, had a fishing boat, and he lived at not far from me. And so he came, uh, uh, passed by us with some people in the boat, and I, I hollered for him. I said, come get me, and I'll pay you whatever. He said, oh, you don't have to pay. He said, when I bring this load, I'll come back and get you. So we talked and talked and talked to the twins, and then they got in. We, the, the fella came, and he drove up in the hallway. That's how high the water was. And also, we came down the steps, and uh, we got in the boat, and they put us on the I-10. That was the I-10, and that's where we stayed. They didn't pick us up no more until the next day. We had to sleep on the I-10 up there, and the next day, the uh, <clears throat> helicopters started coming, but the people started rushing. It was so many people. They started rushing so that the helicopter left and they went further over. And so they seen me crippled with my stick. I'm handicapped with my stick. And so they took me by the hand and I had the boys, they was on the side, took me by the hand and put me on the, on the, uh, on the helicopter and they flew us, and I couldn't tell you where where they they flew us. Uh, it was like a mid a midship hospital they had set up under the underpass, and uh, it was dry there. And so uh, we stayed there oh ever so long, and then the buses started coming. When the buses started coming, they put us on a bus. And it was a while, it's about three buses left before we could get on one. And we got on the bus and they brought us to uh, Thibodeau, to a, a, a gym in Thibodeau. The, the, uh, I don't forgot the name of the college. Nichols. Uh, Nichols State. Nichols, well, it, it was a, a, a probably Nichols State College. And we stayed in and uh, after we stayed in there a long time, my people, they was in Texas and all over, all of my, my people. So they said they had been looking for me, you know. They didn't know where if I was dead or drowned or what. And so uh, all at once I heard over the microphone, we were so, oh, we were so tired in that place. And uh, all at once I heard Dolores White, Christina White, Dolores White. And I said, Christina, they're calling us. And we went where the telephone was, and that was my uh, sister. 
she was calling and she said, we, found, we, we, we finally found you on the internet. We found you, she said, and someone is coming right now to pick you up. And so my cousin, uh, her and her brother came, Carolee and uh, Nawa Jerome. They came and they picked me up and they brought me to their home in Vashri. I didn't even know where I was uh, uh, all this time I was in that place. And Vashri wasn't too far from uh, Thibodeau and I didn't even know. And so they brought me to Vashri and uh, we stayed there a while. Then my grandson came the next day. He came and picked me up in the van because everybody was out of town except my cousin. They had a trailer in Vashri. And so we stayed in the trailer that night. And then he went, my cousin, my, my grandson went pick up my daughter Stacy and her child and brought them by Carolee House. And so then they took me to Baton Rouge to get my check. So they cut me a check for that, that month, that monthly check. And then my grandson took me to uh, Texas. To, uh, that was uh, Dallas. Dallas, Texas. And we rode from 3 o'clock in the evening until about 6 o'clock the next morning. We rode, we got to Texas. And when we got to Texas, my grandson had, he got us a, a apartment and everything there. And it's, what's the name of this place we was in? Eastville Village. Eastville Village. Got each one of us a, a, a apartment. And then we stayed in the apartment. Oh, uh, a, a, a while. Two months. About two months. It was longer than two months. Hmm. They all left like uh, it was close to December. Mm -hmm. Well, it was two months. And then my daughter, I, my oldest daughter, she was in, in uh, Lafayette. Uh, uh -huh, Lafayette. Lafayette in the, in the uh, uh, Superdome in Lafayette, whatever they call it. Oh, Houston. If she was in Houston, then she went to Lafayette. Yeah, she was in Houston. Then she went to Lafayette. So in Lafayette, she kept calling us in Texas and telling us that she's working on a way for us to come, uh, we'll be closer home. Uh, uh, they was going to give her a trailer in New Iberia. Well, I, I had never heard of New Iberia, but I, I knew it was closer to New Orleans where we're from. So uh, they said that it was a, a family, it was Janice and her kids, Miranda, Monica, that's my grandchildren. Janice is my child, daughter. Miranda, Monica, and all of their children. Uh, Stacy, Christina, that's my two daughters, and their children. We all was there in Texas. And uh, they said it was going to send a bus to get us. FEMA was going to send a bus to get us to bring us to New Iberia. But they did not send a bus. So I took two suitcases and I had my grandson to bring me to the bus station and put me on a on a, a bus. And when he put me on a bus, I told him that I wanted to go to uh to Lafayette. Uh that's close to New Iberia. And so uh when uh they when we had to make a stop after we got on the bus and we rode all that day till that evening and then they changed buses with us and I was just so scared that we wasn't gonna make it to New Iberia but we did. We made it that night about about ten o'clock I guess that night. And my niece was there to pick us up. So we all went and we all got in my daughter Dinah had got a trail already. And we all got in her trail. Oh the house the trailer was packed. And the next day, we went to the place and we asked the people to please give us a place to live. We don't have nowhere. We all in the, in the trailer with my uh, daughter. So the next day, 
the children came running, Grandma, come on, come on, Grandma. They giving us a trailer, come on, Grandma. And they gave me the first trailer. Oh, I was so grateful, I didn't know what to do. Beautiful trailer with everything in there, everything. And the people were so nice to us. They brought us food, Thanksgiving baskets, turkey, everything. In the trailer, they had everything in that that you to use. They even gave you bed clothes and to put on the beds that they had there for us. And we stayed there in 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 New Iberia. Well, I stayed about about I'd say about two years. We stayed there. Now. We are back home in New Orleans now, and I have a beautiful home. First, when I first got back, my mama, she got sick. She grieved herself so much, and she got sick, and she died. And because uh, I, I kept telling her, I said, oh, we're going to be together in a while. But she couldn't, she just couldn't wait, and she died in uh we moved back in Reverend Zebra D. Bridges, our church, our pastor of our church, Asia Baptist Church. He gave, he told us, he said, we will always have a house for you and your mama to come to. And we all came down and uh, Reverend Bridges gave us this house to live in. And we stayed in here till they build these how these apartments and oh I'm so grateful to be in these apartments I don't know what to do but everything is fine now I've been very very sick but I'm doing quite well right now but I've made uh, a birthday in here and uh, my sisters gave me a party and they just take care of me like I don't know what I'm the oldest uh, now my other siblings, uh, my other sisters and brothers, they're dead. But I'm the oldest. I, they, they have about six more of us. You, my mama had nine girls and three boys. Two babies died when they were smaller. So she had 14 children. And we all living here in New Orleans, Louisiana. And we're grateful. All right, ready when you are. Hi, this is Dolores again. Like I said, I'm 75 years old. I'm born August 18th, 1935. I have six kids. I had six kids, 19 grandchildren, and eight great-grandchildren. And I go to Asia Baptist Church. I've been in that church since I was a child. O over over uh, 70 years, I guess, I've been in Asia Baptist Church. Uh, Reverend Bridges, Zebedee Bridges was our pastor. And uh, after Reverend Bridges retired, he was, he was a good pastor. And uh, I grew up under him in the church. And uh, Reverend Thibodeau, he took it over. He's younger. And he took it over, and he's very, very nice. His wife is so nice to me. I call his wife my sister. Her name is Yolanda. And I call her my sister. She's a little youngster. She get around. She's so beautiful. She's get, she get around real good. She have two girls. Uh, Reverend Thibodeau have two girls. And uh, my pastor... He went and he had a picture taken with President Obama right here. President Obama was down here. And he had a picture taken with him. And uh, I, love, I love my uh, pastor. And I love Reverend, I mean, brother, I mean, President Obama so very, very much. That is one president that I really, really love. He do so much for you. But the people just won't leave him alone. They, they just, I don't understand them. I don't understand them. They're haters. Huh? They're haters. Mm, well, I don't, 
call, I don't use that word too much, but that I don't like the way they treat him. I really don't. But he's such a strong fella, and he's such a smart fella. Tell I love him very, very much. And I always say at the end of my prayer, God bless President Obama and his family. I always keep him in my prayer. And um, my, my sisters, well, I'm kind of under the weather right now, but my sisters take care of me so well. I have a niece, her name Valerie. She takes care of me every day she comes. She do everything for me. When she was working, when she get off of work, she brings me to my hospital appointments, and she do everything for me. She get all my bills to get whatever I have to pay. My bills, she get them together and everything. And I have another, my other, my sister Gloria, she sits up with me in the evening. She says she come to mind me. <laughs> I laughs at her. But she, she's nice, she's so very nice to me. And then my sister Sandra, she's the one, she come and clean up the house, she say. But I don't have no traffic in here too much, so it's nothing too much, but she comes and she clean up, freshen up and everything. They are so good to me that I just can't see. And my sister Cynthia, she buys me everything, huh? Anything I think I want, she'll get it for me if she can. She bought me this living room set I, I, I have in here after the storm and everything. And uh, <clears throat> I love my sisters very, very much. Jeanette. And my sister Jeanette, well, she comes, she, she's kind of crippled like me, she and her husband. And she comes, uh, I go to church about 7 o'clock in the morning. They pick me up and bring me to church. I don't live too far from church. That's the good part about it. Uh, uh, God put me right, right by my church where I could look. If I don't have nobody to come when I get dressed, I just get on my breezeway and holler at, the, uh, at one of the members, come get me, because the doctor don't want me to walk by myself. And uh, they'll come and get me. So uh, Jeanette, she comes every morning when we're at church. We have prayer service before church starts. And she be there every morning to see how to see that I'm well taken care of, to see if I dress myself real well and everything. And she's so nice to me. That's my sisters. And I love them dearly. And my children. Oh, my children, they are such wonderful children. I just can't see my grandchildren. And my nephew, Alton, who's, who's taping this, this segment. I'm your first grandchild. That's my first grandchild, my oldest grandchild, and I love him dearly. He's the one pick us up when the storm came and brought us all the way. Came, brought us all the way to Texas and everything. He was in Texas and he came back down here to get us and everything. And I love him dearly. And he's down here now, and I'm so grateful. So. I think that's it now. Mm -hmm. Angels in heaven have smiled down on me. Oh, I feel so blessed today. No one but God could have sent you this way. Oh, I feel so blessed today. No one but God could have sent you this way. I once believed. Only a fool would fall in love. Well, if that's true, then I'm that fool I was thinking of. I'm so glad that feeling came over me. Now I'm standing here beside you where I always want to be. Oh, I feel so blessed today. No one but God could have sent you this way. Oh, I feel so blessed today. No one but God could have sent you this way. 
I have never experienced a miracle at all in any way. But I'm witnessing a miracle right in here today. See, I'm getting an angel that makes me feel like a king. Lord knows, Lord, you've given me everything. Oh, I feel so blessed today. No one but God could have sent you this way. No one but God. Amen. And there you have it, everybody, okay? I'm so glad that y'all enjoyed that once again and the video clips uh, and the pictures I meant to say. And you know what? I did find that picture with her and all our sisters, you know. I was talking about that picture with, with, with uh, 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 half, of, half of our sisters. But thank God I found that picture with all her sisters, you know. My Auntie Carrie, she's in heaven. Uh, Lily Me, she's in heaven. Winky, I sure y'all y'all saw in my previous videos on my other channels. And uh, who else? Um, Carrie, I say Carrie. Yeah, Carrie. Uh, Linda. Yep. Cynthia, she's still here with us. Sandra, that's my that's my godmother, nanny. You know, uh, she's still here with us. Okay, um, and uh, who else? Golly, all right, S uh, Carrie, Sandra, Linda, uh, Nelly, or, or shall I say Gloria? Okay, um, and uh, Jeanette, 
she's still here with us. Okay. I, I see Linda already. Yeah. It, it's just a whole lot to, to, to name, you know. They cut the light on here. Okay. So, I mean, I miss all those people. Especially her brothers, Howard and Howard and Calvin. Okay. Especially my great-grandmother, her mom, Amira Heard. Okay. Yes, indeed. You know, I mean, it is a it, 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 it is a miracle that I found that 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 picture with, with with all them sisters. You know, okay, and you know, I, I couldn't find that picture with with, with my crazy cousin Nick Trail and and my grandmother in the same picture. Okay, so that video that 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 I showed y'all with my grandmother talking, my cousin Elton. A, a, a film that video and put it on DVD instead of put it on YouTube himself, you know. I don't know if he, I don't know if he put it on YouTube, you know, but I'm sure he still got the videos from the old days when my grandmother you, you, you used to have gold hair, you know, be, before she got gray hair. She got gray hair in 1997 after I graduated from elementary school, you know, after she retired from Hano, okay, she she been working for Hano for so many years, you know, okay. I think she retired in 1996 or 95 or something like that, okay. So she she, she retired uh, uh, since 95 or 1996, you know, okay. So. I really, I really love her, her, her beans, her cooking. She cook gumbo real good, stew chicken, and she, 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 she even bake a, 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 a nice potato bread, or should I say, a sweet potato cake, or whatever you call that. It, it was so dang good, and she also used to cook us some mustard greens. Okay, I mean I love mustard greens so much, you know. Okay, and you know what? A, a, a. Uh, three or uh, three or four of my friends met my grandmother already. Okay, my close friend Dwayne Payne, he met her a few times. Uh, my bestest friend Tanya Lopez, aka La T, she spoke to my grandmother one time. I don't know how she, I don't know how she knew my grandmother's name. You know. When I wasn't over there, when I was spending spending uh, a, a vacation by my grandmother, she called. Uh, I said, "Hey, Miss Dolores." I don't know how in the how in the, how in the law's name she knew my grandmother's name. She was smart, and also my other bestest friend, Dianca Stubbs. She spoke to my grandmother once, and I wasn't even at the at the house myself. You know, I really wasn't at the house. You know, so. I was gone somewhere that time. I ain't had no cell phone that time, you know. I ain't had no cell phone or nothing, you know. All right. So, Dianca, Tanya spoke to her by phone, and my closest friend, uh, uh, Dwayne Payne, met my grandmother, okay, in person, you know. Well, I don't want to forget my, my friend Latoya Mead, you know, not, not, not a best friend, though. She, she even met my grandmother once, okay? All right. So, anyway, this episode is credited, okay? This, El this episode goes to, to, to my cousin Elton, okay? He created this video that I got in my, in my episode, okay? So, I don't get the credit. Danky not getting the credit. Huey P not getting the credit, okay? Only he, only Elton Fletcher get this this uh, credit, okay? I and you know who else was real close uh, uh, to my grandmother, my cousin Monica. Okay, she cried so hard, but I wasn't there to, to witness that. You know, I, I I wouldn't have took that though. I and Rick and Reginald, my grandmother raised both of them. Okay, all right, we we had lots of fun to our house, you know. All right, Ricky Reginald, yeah, I, 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 I really enjoyed him being over there, you know, two hours, long time ago, when we used to play video games and stuff like that. We had lots of fun, you know, but maybe we could, maybe we could get some, some of the things back 
and, and, and bring it back from the past, but I sure wish I could bring my grandmother back, you know. I mean, I miss her so, so, so much. Lord knows I miss her, you know. But she's in a better place now, okay? So those was the good old days. Uh, uh, she used to live in the St. Bernard Project on the second floor in the full bedroom apartment, okay? Across the, the driveway from my T. Sharon, okay? Yes, indeed. Those were the good old days, okay? And then when I, when, when, uh, uh, after my, my mama got married and then she was separated from her husband, my grandmother took us in, me and me and my my twin brother, and also my, my big brother. But but he was always in and out, you know. And then after that, uh, uh, she 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 also took uh 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 my auntie Dinah and and her and her children in. Elton got got his own place that time, you know. So so I I, I enjoyed my auntie Dinah. Uh, 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 staying over there, you know, so it, it was lots of fun, her and her children staying over there, you know, and then after, after my mama's divorce, my grandmother took us in yet again, and we stood in our house for like two years, you know, yep, I mean, the, the best Christmas of my life, you know, two Christmases and two Thanksgivings, you know, best Thanksgiving and Christmas of my life, staying over there to her beautiful home. You understand? That, that, that was the most beautiful home she ever had, whether she was living in the ghetto or, or, or living in a nice neighborhood, okay? A beautiful home, you understand? No matter what, okay? Even, even in the, even in the, uh, the uh, we was living in Dallas, she had a beautiful home there. Uh, in New Iberia, in the FEMA trailer, she had a she, she had a beautiful home there. Uh, in the church house on Duplessis, behind Asia Baptist Church, that was a beautiful home too. You know, living room, kitchen, you name it. And her last house in Columbia Park. Yes, indeed, that was a beautiful house too. Even though it was a one bedroom, you know, a beautiful house. You understand, no matter what. Her, her houses, wherever she lived, was always beautiful, okay? All right. So, anyway, I would like to say happy birthday to my grandmother, you know. Happy birthday, Grandma. I miss you so much, you know. I wish you were still here with us, okay? My, my mama miss you. You know, she, she, she always think about you, and, that, and that's true, everybody. My mama always think about her, her mom, you know, okay? All right, uh, uh, let, me, let me go back to when I was, I think, one or two. One of those days that, 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 that I heard my mama call her mama, you know. So what I said when I was a little kid, I said, Grandma, why my mama call you mama? Because, because I'm my mama, that's what she said, okay. I, I, I was a little kid. I, I, I ain't know no better, you know. I was wondering, you know. I mean, um, uh, all right, so a long time ago, I, I was wondering what Mighty Sandra was going to call my grandmother. She called her Delo. I didn't know they were sisters. I thought they was, they was uh, 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 I, don't, I don't know really, until I got older. That's when I started noticing and, and realizing, okay? All right. So, so anyway, thank y'all for watching. Grandma, happy birthday. I hope you're having a wonderful hallelujah time in heaven, okay? Uh, we all miss you. Reginald miss you so much, and you know it. Ricky miss you, and you know it, okay? And I know your, your first grandson, the best cousin I ever had, Elton, he misses you too, okay? All right? I still say Elton is an awesome cousin, you know? And, and the best grandmother I ever had, the, the, the only grandmother I knew, okay? You, you the only grandmother I knew. That's the, 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 the only grandmother I knew, you know? I never seen my, my grandmother on my daddy's side, but all I know is my, my grandmother, Miss Dolores White, okay? All right, so...
thank y'all for watching. All right. So I must say thank you for for for, for the wonderful years you you've been here on this earth. Okay, and and and, and everything. Thank you for the for, for the for, for, for the birthday presents that, that you gave me and Christmas uh, uh, cards that, that that you gave me. Okay, I lost some some of that in Hurricane Katrina. Okay, all right. So, and I also would like to thank each and every one of y'all that's watching this video. Not just my family. I know my family is is, is watching it too. All right, but but I want to thank my friends, even my friends from New Iberia. I'm sure that they, they're watching this video too. This birthday special presentation tribute to my grandmother. I know my, my friends from New Iberia is, is watching. I, I, I already know that for sure. Okay. I, I, I'm not sure if all of them is watching it. But I'm sure some of them is watching it. Okay. I know all my family is watching. But, 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 but some of my friends and, and some of you folks out there in, 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 in the United States... I hope y'all watching it too, okay? Thank y'all for watching this show, okay? I really appreciate, uh, uh, I, I really appreciated how she took care of us, you know? All right? And also used to wake us up early in the morning for church. Not just, not just Ricky, Reginald, Solomon, and them, me too, okay? Always got us to go to church. And not only that, got us to go to Sunday school, uh, press service and uh, and Bible school. Not only that, the Boy Scout meeting at our church. Okay, tell all of us to go to Boy Scout just like my mom used to tell me to go to Boy Scout. Okay, all right. So I'm sure gonna miss your grandmother. Until we meet again, I'll be up there in heaven one day. Okay. Thank y'all for watching this video. Thank each and every one of y'all, even even the celebrities that the, that the, that that's probably watching this video. And excuse my stuttering, okay? Like Bob Bark always say, help control the pet population. Have y'all pets spayed and neutered, all right? Thank y'all for watching this video. I appreciate y'all y'all presence and everything, all right? God bless each other and every one of y'all, and God bless your grandma, okay? So long, mom. No, my grandma, I meant, you know. So long, Grandma. Hope to see you uh, uh, when, when I get to heaven. Okay? God bless.